Good morning students. On today's lecture, I'll cover a sketch the trigonometry graph y equal to tan x. In last my video, two videos, I have showed you how to sketch y equal to sin x and y equal to cos x. And um, today is time uh, we are going to do y equal to tan x. Now y equal to tan x is little different than the sin x and cos x, the graph of sin x and uh, cos x. The reason is it doesn't follow that 360 degree for one cycle. It follows something else. I'm going to look at it into that in a second. Now, if I draw the table X and Y, okay, like the one we have done before, we're going to check this one. What happens if we have graph, trigonometric graph, 10 X at zero degree. Now at zero degree, 10, zero. I hope you can see that 10, zero equal to zero. So the value of tan zero equal to zero. Now I'm going to try for tan 90 degree. Now tan 90 degree, I'm getting math error. Now why is it math error? Let's find out. Okay, if I have a circle of radius one, one unit circle, you, you probably remember that um, from my last one of last, last video. Tangent is a line that touch the circle at one circle or any graph at one and one point and only. So let me draw this tangent. This line is the tangent to the curve. Now the point it touch the circle, this particular point touch the this circle at this point. This point is known by point of contact point of contact okay now this is the tangent line now when this line from the center it moves anti-clockwise let's say it moves up to here then it creates this angle x okay now you can see that tan x tan x was to a oppo over adjacent so oppo over adjacent in this case adjacent is one so tan x is nothing but but the opposite side that length of this side now the angle doesn't matter what is the value of this side and this side as long as we know angular movement so if this angular distance i can increase this one this this line over here up to here now this is my opposite side okay and tangent is at uh, the adjacent equal to one so tan x equal to this value over here okay so when it's zero when this x equal to zero i see that the tangent is at the point of contact so i don't have any height okay in this case this is the height let, let, let's call this one height height okay so this line is the height now if the angle increases let's say it goes this way then the height increases too it goes that way it increases the height again but at the, this one was point of contact over here is zero degree but this line over here it's my 90 degree angle now if I have a value, if I have a value of tangent, uh, 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 an angle is very close to 90 degree. I can see that if I increase this line, the length of the line, if I increase it, it's somewhere up there meet this tangent line. So I'm going to have some value. But the problem is when this tangent, this line becomes 90 degree, then this tangent must be on this line. Now, it cannot be on this line because when it's on this line, then this line is not going to be tangent. It's going to be second. Second line. Second line means that when a line passes the uh, uh, yeah, uh, circle uh, with two points, it intersects two points and keep moving on. Not like tangent that touch the circle at one point. It intersect at two points and just pass it through. So this is second. So tangent is not going to be a tangent whenever sine uh, tan 
x equal to 90 degree, uh, 10x when x equal to 90 degree this tangent becomes second so what happened when i have 10 90 degree it shows it's a math error this line this tangent will never be on this particular line it's not going to be coincide with this line then what to do well what we're going to do see that i cannot take 90 degree but there is a mathematical way i can do i can take plus minus let's say 0 0.1 very small value one i'm gonna subtract it or add it if i subtract it then 90 minus 0.1 gives me 89.9 89.9 and if i add it 90 plus 0.1 that's gonna give me 90.1 90.1 now let's try this value over here 89 Point nine. Now, 1089.9, that becomes a very big number, 572.95 something. So, correct to the nearest whole number, I got 573. That means this length, it becomes very big, okay, at 89.9. Now, what happened at 90.1, okay, at 90.1, 90.1 when 1090.1 i'm going to show you that 1090.1 i got minus 573 correct to the nearest whole number same value as this one but it's negative 573 all right pretty good we got that so this two values 89.9 and 9.1 we replace the value our main point Remember, there are there were five main points: zero, then 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, and 360 degree. Now this 90 degree is replaced by two different values: 89.9 and 90.1. Since 90, 1090 is not giving us a calculator value. So next one is 180. So let's do 180. I hope we're gonna have a value for 180. It should have a value because look at this. When this 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 line is started to fall from others from this 90 degree line to the other side, then we're gonna have tangent. This is this is the tangent over here at 180 degree. That one was zero degree, 180 degree. I'm gonna have it really up there, and then it keeps going on. So at 180 degree, I can see that. I'm going to have 10, 180 degree is going to get me zero. So nothing wrong with that. That's fine. Coming to 270 degree, 270 degree, exactly opposite of 290 degree. So let me write down 270 degree. So 270 degree, I shouldn't have any values. That's again math error. Why? Because when it goes from this way to this way, yes, I'm going to have some height, some height, some height, and no height at 180. That gives me zero. Then when it falls back this side, okay, then the height is getting bigger, but negative, 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 and it's going to be very big. But this line is never going to be coincide with that. Same reason, because then 10 graph, 10 line, uh, uh, this 10 line tangent is going to be second over here. So 270, we are not going to get any value. So same thing we're going to apply. 270, since it's not going to be valid, we're going to add or subtract 0 0.1 okay so the first one when we subtract that it should be 269.9 and when we add it 270.1 so over here i have one uh 269 269.9 this is 269.9 and 270.1 so let's see what happened at 269.9 so 10 269.9 look i'm getting 572 whatever we i got uh, correct to on the one uh, whole number is uh, uh, 573 so that's 573 we already got it so this is going to be 573 now my instincts is telling me 270.1 should be this negative 573 but let's let's try that 10 270.1 I'm getting, yes, absolutely right. My guess was right. Minus 573. Now, these two values, 
is replacing 270 degree. Now last one is 360. Let's see what happened. Am I gonna have any values here or not? Yes, zero. Because 260 is nothing but the initial position zero degree. There tangent is zero. There is no height over here. So this is the table I got. Now it's time to draw this uh, graph, okay? Now this is the piece of paper I'm using for uh, drawing this uh, tan graph. Now let's take this value over here to be 90 degree, 180 degree, 270 degree, and 360 degree. I'm going to write down here, this is zero. Uh, I don't know if you can see this one very light. So I'm going to use a different color, zero degree. This is 90 degree. This is 180 degree. 270 degree and 360 degree this is x this is y and we are going to draw y equal to tan x from x to b from 0 degree to 360 degree so 0 to 360 degree five important points now at 0 degree y is 0 when x is 0 y is 0 so this is the point we are talking about and at 89.9, it's a 573. If you take instead of 89.9, if you take 89.9999, it's going to be very bigger number than this one. That should mean that it's going to go really up somewhere, but it will net not get onto this line. So I'm taking that value over here somewhere really close to this line, and I'm going to join this. It's going to be gradually going up, up, up like that. So this part is here. Now, for 90.1, it's going to be somewhere close to this 90 line over here because it's negative. Y is negative below the x-axis. So it's going to be somewhere over here. And then at 180, it's 0. And then 269, it's 573. So same rule applies over here. I'm going to put it this place over here. So that's going to be what? This is going to be something like that. And this is going to be something like this. Okay, all right, nice. Now, at 270.1, that's minus 573. Again, something like this, somewhere over here. And at 360 degree, I'm gonna have over here. Now, this one is like that. You can clearly see that this is one complete cycle. And if I just cut it and put it over here, probably I'm gonna have some more values over here for X and then I'm gonna have a complete cycle. So this two makes one complete cycle. This two, this makes, this already has one complete cycle. So within 360 degree, 10 X or 10 graph having two number of cycles. So over here, the regular cycles um, in, in, in 360 degree, there are two numbers uh, of cycles so we're gonna say regular period of 10x is not 360 like sine and cos it's gonna be 180 degree be careful with that most of the time in your o level exams they are asking you uh, let me give you an example um, 10 3x plus 1 y equal to that what is the period of this function then most of the student they do period period equals to 360 divided by 3 that's going to be 120 and they are pretty happy about that because they, they know this rule b is going to be underneath of uh, 360 degree and the period is 120 but remember this is 10 graph 10 graph having two cycles complete cycles within 360 degree. So this is wrong over here. Whatever we have done over here is wrong. So what are you gonna do? The new period would be for this particular graph, it's gonna be 180 divided by three, that's gonna be 60 degree, okay? Now that's gonna be our uh, regular uh, period of this graph. Within 180 degree, we used to have one for one cycle for the parental graph but when i have 10 3x plus one this kind of thing then the regular period would be 60 degree so this is the common mistake made by the students and it looks a little weird 
but I think you're gonna get it. Now, it doesn't have any regular amplitude like sine and cos theta because it's going up, 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 but it will never intersect this line. Now, this tan, uh, this uh, graph, uh, this line over here, vertical line, 90 degree, x equal to 90 degree, and this one, x equal to 270 degree. These two lines are known as asymptote. They're known as asymptote asymptote what this asymptote line means is that this graph will go really close to that so close that it may seems like along the line up there somewhere they're gonna meet but they don't okay they're gonna go really close to the, this line but ne they are never gonna intersect that line or pass through that line okay so this is our asymptote and this is our tan x a graph and most of the time students don't realize how this thing happened. I hope you understand uh, the way we, I have done this and if you have any problem please uh, leave the uh, comment on the comment box. I'll get back to you. Okay, thank you. Have a good day.